All right, you went in the bathroom and took your birth control pill. Cool. And wait a minute. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Yo. So this is why you went to the bathroom? Hi, Omis. I'm Sim Koya. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Koi Pond. In today's episode of Rosie in the City, it's Simteenth. Yes, like Juneteenth, but in Sims. <laughs> anyway, Rosie is on her rooftop getting ready. So she has invited over some guests and brought her radio upstairs. She's grilled some baked potatoes and now she's about to grill some plantains, 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 plantains. <laughs> she's about to grill some of that. I really want her to make more food, but We'll, we'll see what all she has time for because I do want her to make some drinks as well. Okay, so everyone is starting to come upstairs. Rosie is just getting those drinks ready and she's no Felix, but she's going to try. She found a drink recipe on Pinterest and she would have asked Felix, but she didn't really want to inquire about his personal recipes and then not invite him over for the holiday. So she just decided to look some things up on her own. And we did invite over Akira, Alice, and Penny. And of course our family is here too. Um, and we do have a few new faces that you'll see around. And those are our new neighbors who moved in downstairs. So two of them are some Sims that I made a while ago for one of my friends. Um, she was playing with a Sim and he wanted to get married. So I was like, ooh, how about I make a couple of like eligible bachelorettes for him? So um, that's her right there. That's Zoe. And then the other one that you actually, I don't know if Soul is around, but um, the third one is actually a sim that was created by Hello Avocado, whose save file I'm playing in. And I want to say her name is Sadie, the sim. Uh. I don't remember. No, no, no. Sophie. That's her name. Sophie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but she, Hello Avocado actually just made a set of brown skin girls and I just had to have them. And so when I was um, placing everybody, I was like, oh, she can be one of our new um, neighbors. And I wish the weather was better tonight. It's such a cloudy and gloomy day, but luckily, like, luckily, I mean, it's not terrible. The views could be better, but I mean, I still like the vibes. You know, rooftop vibes are always great. And I also wish we had something red to eat or drink for the holiday. I really didn't want them to have red wine since they're eating barbecue food. And I wasn't sure that any of the grill options are red or not. So we'll just pretend that they had something red to eat. Everybody's just sitting around the fire, having a good old time, just chatting together. And Rosie is pretty happy. She's glad that her dad and uncle are always so supportive and were able to come out and celebrate. And she's also pretty happy about actually making friends in the city. And it looks like Penny and Sage are getting to know each other, which is perfect because Rosie actually wants the three of them to spend more time together pretty soon. Okay, so it looks like everybody is starting to head out. And Roger is gonna stick around for a little bit. And it looks like Sophie is still up here. So Rosie is going to get to know her a little bit better. So far, she seems pretty nice. Okay, so Zoe has joined us back on the rooftop, but who is this Sam? Okay, so the neighbors are throwing a little shindig. So they've got their own celebrations for Sim Team too. I wonder if that's why Soul never came upstairs because they have something going on downstairs in their apartment, a little party. Okay, so we're back downstairs and we're in the bed. It's the next morning and we're getting up to start our day. 
I wanted to check out her painting skills for some gigs. And it looks like Roger is inviting us to GeekCon. We'll go, but this is definitely not Rosie's thing. <laughs> She's like, Dad, only because it's you. He's like, but the t-shirts here are amazing. And She's like, again, only because it's you. I'm not going to wear one of these t-shirts. <laughs> but Rosie is also like, you know what? You never know who we might meet. So let's go. I don't mind. It's not far. Oh my goodness. And it's um, Rosie's aunt, uh, Mary and Sean. Look at them in their little outfits, their little costumes. That's so cute. <laughs> I swear Rosie's aunt Mary loves her some popcorn. Like <laughs> at Sage's house, her parents' house, they have that popcorn machine. And they were killing it when Rosie was over there the last time before Rosie, I mean, before Sage moved in and the aunt has found herself some popcorn in the city. Like she must have brought that because is there a vendor that sells popcorn? I haven't seen one. Anyway, Roger really wants Rosie to get one of these shirts and we're going to buy one, but we don't really want it. We're probably just going to uh, give it away as a gift either to our dad or maybe to Daniel or somebody. All right, so we are haggling and we are going to buy this shirt at a discount we're like oh my goodness we definitely want to have a successful time at this festival so we're gonna buy the shirt <laughs> but we're not gonna buy it full price and she's not gonna buy a snow globe or anything like that either because she can just find those in a cardboard box on the street Rosie is definitely out of place at this festival, that is for sure. And who knew her aunt and uncle were cosplayers? That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so we bought our shirt and we had to get out of there. So we came over to Seoul co-working and it's time to get to work. So right now we need to find a new gig for Rosie because the bills are going to keep on coming. You know, the grind don't stop. So let's see. Ooh, this one pays quite nicely and it's not illegal. <laughs> Is Rosie coming up in the game? Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we are just going to get started. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Daniel, a date? Mm, all right, sure. <laughs> let's see, the last time we saw Daniel, when was that? After Love Day? That night when we stayed over? Wow, that's been a little minute. Let's see how things go on this date since it's been a while since they've actually seen each other. They really haven't even talked that much since then either, but that is mostly Rosie's fault. She was moving into her new apartment and he did ask her to come over, but she was packing up with her dad and uncle and she she really could have asked for his help, but with you know Roger and Sean there helping out, she really didn't want Daniel in the mix just yet. And I want them to find somewhere to go. Like, why would he bring her on a date to the store? Like, I peeped the prices in there and Rosie doesn't want any of that stuff. And it's way overpriced. So I think I want them to come over here to this cute little area and sit and talk. Oh my gosh. What is it about everybody choosing to not sit where we pick when we go to these parks? <laughs> like, everybody just wants to run away. Are we not... Are we not good at choosing the location or something? All right, Daniel, let's take a picture. It's so beautiful out here. Oh my gosh, look at the lighting. They're cute. Daniel might be kind of corny, but you know, we, we like Daniel for right now. <laughs> okay, so there's a skating rink here. I've actually never been to Magnolia Promenade before. Like I've bought the get to work pack a minute ago, but I never ever come here. So this is actually my first time seeing this place. It's pretty beautiful. Alrighty, so we are going to come over here and skate a little bit. Let's see if Rosie is any better at skating now than she was when she went with Sage and totally like busted her tail. Okay, slow and steady. Oh, oh. <laughs> slow and steady let's see how daniel can skate is he any good at skating oh my gosh nope they're equally as bad <laughs> oh gosh yeah rosie still needs to work on her skating but she's having a good time they're having fun they're cute 
All right, enough skating. Let's go and talk. Rosie is going to make sure she's going to do her little cute walk. <laughs> she's say? like, you are going to see these hips, honey. I'm working it. All right, so yeah, let's discuss neighborhood changes. You know, we are neighbors now, so and he's a politician. So she's like, you know, let's talk about the borough. Let's talk about what it's like over here. And of course, we've got a couple of romance interactions. And I do want them to get into a deep conversation and talk about some more serious things. So let's just get into that. What? What the Hello Kitty is this? Rosie. Girl. Engage? Look at. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to being a serial romantic? Like, what do you mean you want to get engaged? I cannot. This was not, this was not a part of our plan, okay? Rosie. I can't. This. Oh my gosh. Okay. See, I, I have an outline of what I want to happen in this series, okay? And this was not a part of the plan. Like, this throws everything off. You want to get engaged? You know what? That's fine. I like when the game throws me a curveball because then that makes things more fun and challenging. So, okay. So, Rosie, you want to get engaged to Daniel. Cool. We can work with that. So, Rosie. Oh, my gosh, girl. <laughs> so, clearly, this date is going extremely well. Um, So, she must be feeling like she wants... Daniel to want to marry her so she's like I want to get engaged to him because I want him to want me and only me like I want him to put in that extra work to try to um make things work with me yeah so Rosie is basically pretty much like I want to see more effort from Daniel you know I would love for things to be more serious between us I would love to be more exclusive but I need to see the effort I need to see the effort you know she's like he is a politician so he's got his head on right career wise but as far as she goes she feels like he could do a little bit better um so that's what we're gonna say this is all about she's thinking about marriage in the sense of like I could totally be with you Daniel but if you put in the work she's like I'm I'm still single. I'm still well, I mean, we're in a relationship, yes, but I'm not married, so I can do what I want to out here. But you're going to have to like put in the work. And if you don't, you know, we'll see how we feel about that. But Rosie, you're so young. Marriage? Engaged? Why? <laughs> Gosh, so we're at soul co-working again. This gig comes with too good of a paycheck for us to fumble the bag now. But dang it, Rosie, why? Engaged? She is so complicated. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much what Rosie is feeling like right now. I know in the last episode when she was hanging out with Todd, we were talking about how she actually is not in the headspace of being into anything really serious right now. And she's not, but she's just confused right now. You know, Daniel, he is, how can I put it? Daniel is obliviously selfish. Like he wants Rosie to spend all his time with him. And when she does it, she gets sucked in because she's self-absorbed. She wants to feel like the center of attention and the best thing. And that's pretty much where this like, engagement nonsense is stirring from she's thinking like you know what like you want me all the time but really show me that you want me like show me that you'll put a ring on it and like then i'll really really be there for you so i don't know we're gonna see exactly how this is gonna work out between them i personally don't think that they should get engaged <sighs> but we'll see Rosie is interesting though she changes her mind like she changes underwear so <laughs> she may feel totally different tomorrow 
So I'm not going to count on this being anything too serious. Okay, Daniel. Rosie is like, he got the message. I see you're in a good mood. All right. So she did want to send a flirty text. We sent a flirty text to a woman. You know, we are trying to be a better girlfriend for the moment and seeing what, where things can go since she's like her feelings for Daniel are growing. But at the end of the day, Rosie is still kind of trash. So I don't really know how, like, I wish this whim would expire. Like, why did it even come up? <laughs> like, this, this girl is complicated, okay? But we will see what's going to happen. Alrighty. And so we finished up our work at Soul Coworking. We didn't want to meet up with him right away. We did have to finish chatting with our client first. So Rosie is working on being more focused on her work and getting these gigs done on time. But now we're over here at the Stargazer Lounge and we're going to order a couple of drinks. And yeah, Daniel, please go to the bathroom. Don't don't pee on yourself while we're on this date. OK, he's not going to the bathroom yet. That's fine. Daniel's like, so, you know, you're in my neighborhood now. How are you liking it? She's like, oh, you know, being close to you is always sweet, babe. I really like it. I love our rooftop. The views are amazing. And he's like, yeah, you know, you haven't invited me over yet. When can I come over and check it out? And she's like, you play your cards right and you'll be able to come over soon. And <laughs> don't, don't press me. All right. So Daniel has gone off to the bathroom and we are actually going to go to, but our, like, why is she going to the bathroom? Her bladder is not low. Like, are you just going to go in there and talk to the toilet? Okay, Rosie. All right, you went in the bathroom and took your birth control pill. Cool. And wait a minute. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Yo. So this is why you went to the bathroom? Y'all are nasty. Oh my goodness. I, I'm speechless. I, I mm, I'm. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm not looking at y'all right now. I can't do this. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at Rosie over here supporting her man. Girl, he cannot sing. You should tell him to sit down, but she's actually choosing to be a good girlfriend today. Like, does Rosie really know what she wants? Oh, look at him. <laughs> I mean, they make a cute couple, but I don't, I don't think Rosie really knows what she wants. You know, she's, she's easily distracted. You know, whoever shows her the most attention in the moment is who she gives her time to. And I really think this whole idea of wanting to get engaged to Daniel is really like a sort of like a control thing. Like I want you to show me that I'm the most important thing in your life. And like, that's pretty much what that is. Like, that's not why you get engaged, Rosie. You get engaged because you really love someone. And I, and she really does enjoy Daniel, but I don't think her head's in the right place about this. And if this is not the city life for you, a dude playing the guitar in a Speedo for tips. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute, we're gonna chat with Roger. What is our dad doing here? Hmm. Like, is he close? Yeah, okay. Hmm. Should Rosie finally introduce Daniel to her dad? I mean, she does want to get engaged to the guy. I guess Roger should finally meet the infamous distracting Daniel himself. Nope. Okay. Uh, Daniel is drunk and passed out, so he cannot meet pops like this. Let's, oh my gosh, dad, maybe you're the one who should have moved to Sam I you know, I swear you're always here. <laughs> that was cute and everything, seeing dad at the bar, but we have got to get Daniel out of here. He is drunk and Rosie cannot let her see her boyfriend like this. She's like, you know what? Let me call this Uber. We have got to go. You are not about to embarrass me in public, especially not in front of my dad. Like, absolutely not. 
Okay, so we are back at Rosie's place. We just got out of the Uber and yes, we brought Daniel home with us. She felt like uh, Daniel was a little too drunk to go home by himself. So wait, is that fruitcake really still outside? I cannot, what is going on with that? Oh, there's Soul. So that's one of our other uh, new neighbors. I don't think she ever came to the rooftop while um, we had our 17th cookout. I always forget to take the food out of the inventory. I don't even know why I even put it in there. Okay, Daniel, so um, let's go upstairs. Oh, and we have a new sentiment. Wait, our only sentiment. We're deeply connected and we both have it. Great. I hate when one sim acquires like a bunch of sentiments and the other one has like nothing. So it's like, dang, like, is this the friend zone or not? Like, you're just gonna let me feel all these emotions. You don't have, you don't feel any kind of way. Okay, great. And Sage is leaving. Perfect timing. <laughs> Look at Daniel, he is hype. Okay, so, yep, it's happening, guys. It is happening. I don't know if it's the alcohol or the desire to get engaged. Could Rosie be drunk in love? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, and Daniel is wasting no time. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna give them some a little privacy. Oh gosh, somebody needs to clean up up here. Soul does seem like the neat uh, roommate or neighbor out of everybody, so let's hope she does it. Okay, so where is he going? Wow. Okay, so I think it is a good idea to end things right here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about Rosie wanting to get engaged to Daniel. Ain't that some mess? Gosh, you see what I'm dealing with with her? <laughs> anyway, don't forget to check out Rosie's playlist. A new song is added after each episode. And I'm out of here. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace. I like to fight a little dirty